Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be trying out some makeup that I got from AliExpress and before, before you comment and say, oh my gosh, has she got those lips done again? Yes, she has. Yes, she did. So this is the third time now that I've had my lips done. I got them done yesterday. So this is the most swollen they're going to be. And I know that right now they look so offensive probably. Like I feel like people are definitely going to be offended by the size of my lips right now. I just want to reassure you that they are swollen. Like this is not the finished article like at all i i'm gonna be honest here so i did quandary like i was thinking do you know what should i film today or should i wait because i know that it's a very controversial topic you know like lip fillers i know that some people love them and some people dislike them and i understand like it's a quite a heated issue so I was thinking, okay, should I just wait a couple of days, wait for them to go down before I film? But then I thought, well, no, because I know that so many of you guys are just supportive, positive, you know, like just the kind of people that will just not criticise me, you know, forget my lips done. But I know that there are some people um, who don't like like lips like this and I know that I'll definitely get some form of critical thinking in the in the comments but I just thought no do you know what I'm, I'm, I'm just doing me this is me guys you know I'll always be real with you and I really wanted to film today I've got some great makeup products I wanted to try and I just thought no I'm, I'm gonna film I'm gonna film and I'll just I'll take whatever is thrown at me. It's, it's fine. So, um, also I've developed a lisp, and I don't know why. I think it's because of the the size of my lips. But can you hear? It's a, it's a, it's a snaky sausage, snaky sausage. Yeah, I feel like I've got a lisp. I don't know what that's all about, guys. But anyway, so now that we've got all of that out of the way. <coughs> And I hope my lips are not going to offend anyone. But if they do, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry, guys. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So, guys, yes, here she is. Mrs. Corn Sausage Lips for today. So, guys, on to the fun stuff. So, today, we're going to be trying out the Lemon Eyeshadow Palette. This is by Beauty Glazed. This is what she looks like. I've not got any other kind of, you know, palettes like this with these beautiful kind of golden yellow peachy shades i do believe that this is a little bit similar to a ColourPop eyeshadow palette i i am always like so interested in ColourPop, but one time i bought some products from ColourPop, and i, I ended up having to pay 20 pounds in customs fees so ever since then i try not to look at ColourPop stuff because I, whenever I do I want to buy it all but I, I don't have to pay like £20 for customs so anyway I'm really really excited to try out this palette yeah. shit we have two of these neon liquid eyeliners these are from the DNM brand we have a neon yellow and we have a neon orange and I just thought that these may work really really well with the beautiful lemon eyeshadow palette so we're going to be trying out these I also have some fabulous eyelashes to try out today these ones just look extremely why am I holding them upside down oh these look absolutely beautiful uh, oh no I think I know why I was holding them upside down because look the writing is that way, but should they not be the other way? Anyway, I'm confusing myself now. Okay, we're going to be trying out these. And finally, I have another one of these beautiful powder highlighters. This is by Beauty Glaze. I have kind of tried this before, um, but I really wanted to try it properly today. Like, before when I tried it, I just souchoned a little bit up on my cheeks. But today, I want to, like, go for it. I just thought the beautiful golden shade of this highlighter would really, really complement the golden shades in the Beauty Glaze palette. So I just thought, do you know what? The sun isn't out here. The sun probably won't be out here for another four months. So I just thought, well, why not bring the sun to myself? Like I will be the sun. 
today. That's what I thought. I don't know. Anyway, guys. So, to begin, we're going to be trying out the Lemon Eyeshadow Palette. I have already done the swatches, and I was actually really, really impressed. I thought that the shimmers were gorgeous. So, these are foiled shimmers. They're the same formula that feature in the Mysterious Eyeshadow Palette that I really, really loved. Uh, so, I think the shimmers are going to work beautifully. I think the mattes also swatched nicely and they felt very creamy to the touch so all in all i just think that this this palette with these beautiful shades it just looks so promising and do you want to know the best thing about this palette it cost £2.74. Okay, so today we are going to begin with this shade and I'm just going to pop that up in my crease. And then I'm even going in with a bit of this shade over the top as well. So this one and this one. Okay, so this first shade is, I mean it's very, very light but I think it will work well in cohesion with the other shades what the feck am i even saying i like i have no idea and by the way guys this is my uh kind of i was gonna say it's like my bedtime top but it's definitely not like as soon as i get from work like i put it on and then i proceed to wear it for the rest of the evening and then i'll probably wear it all weekend too it is so comfortable i got it from victoria's secret and um it was on offer and it's it's so soft guys it is the softest top ever and although like most of my clothes are really really cheap like you know Primark or I don't know I just don't spend a lot of money on clothes at all I think it's really really nice to have just like it doesn't mean you have to spend loads of money either but just like a really you know a top that you love that's so comfortable you know just to treat yourself to have something to wear around the house I just think it makes you feel like so pampered you know so pampered so relaxed i also think it's really really nice if you can indulge yourself in some beautifully cozy and comfy bed sheets oh my gosh like who am i all of a sudden i'm mrs recommendations like oh my gosh but no i do think that if you treat yourself to like a really really cozy pair of bed sheets would it be a pair if it's a bed sheet i don't know but anyway Oh, it just makes you feel so good when you go to bed. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so this is that first shade. It's very uh, subtle, but you know, we can see her there. So I kind of like her look. Yes. Okay, so next I'm going to go into this slightly darker shade. I mean, these shadows are blending out beautifully. I am definitely a fan of Beauty Glaze. I've enjoyed most of the products that I've tried. I've tried from them and I just think the price points it just like it's like a solo it's almost like you're stealing the product okay so guys next we are going to go into this beautiful it's kind of like a i don't know it looks brighter like here but it's actually more of a mustardy shade i'm just going to pop that like just again in and around my crease wow she's quite proud of you guys by the way, this brush is from Kaleidos Makeup and it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It just feels so soft. It's kind of like velvet. By the way as well, guys, have you noticed like I've developed a little bit of a lisp? Like, I think it's just because of the sheer size of my lips right now. But isn't it crazy that like having swollen lips could cause a lisp? What's that all about, guys? Okay, so guys, I'm really liking what we've got going on. And I've been like super sloppy. You probably noticed with this. Uh, I've not been particularly like neat and tidy. But I just feel like these eyeshadows are so easy to work with. Like it doesn't really matter. Next, we are going to go in with a little bit of this yellow shade. And I'm just going to focus that in the outer area and in the inner area. Okay, so I'm definitely having to engage the stamping technique with the shade just because, I mean, it is a little bit chalky. It's such a light shade and it's bright as well. I just feel like, you know, you do have to kind of, you know, stamp, like stamp her on. 
to get her to show up. Otherwise, I think she would just kind of, you know, blend into nothingness. Okay, so next we're going to go under the eye and to do that, I'm going to go in with the beautiful uh, light brown shade and then I'm going to also use a little bit of the mustard shade just to like blend it all, blend it in like blendy, blendy, blendy. Oh my gosh, I really, really like this. That is an absolutely gorgeous brown. I know that you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, it's just a brown. But there's something about it that's so beautiful because it almost has kind of like, I'd say like ready undertones to it. And it's very warm. And look how pigmented she is. Like, look how beautifully she's gone on. Oh my gosh. Like, I know I've said this before. I'm just going to say it again. I don't know how, how beauty clays make any money. Like, how do they formulate and produce such beautiful quality eyeshadows and sell it for like £2.74. I'll never understand that. Either they're not making any money at all or the higher end and even drugstore brands are just completely ripping us off and their profit margins must be like astronomical because I don't for one second believe that Beauty Glades are not making a profit on this so can you imagine how much say huda beauty i feel bad because i feel like i'm constantly like you know kind of ripping huda beauty i feel like i'm constantly just criticizing her and i'm not at all like i think she is an admirable iconic businesswoman who is absolutely gorgeous and obviously like super clever so i'm i'm not like i don't want to seem like i'm just constantly you know, on her vagina or anything. I just, I don't know. I don't know. They must be making like huge profits. Huge. But then I did see her, you know, trying out that moisturiser that cost like about £400. And it's like, wow, you've got to be making some money, haven't you, to be using a moisturiser that costs £400. Okay, so the under eye is done. So next we're going to go in with a shimmer and... I think today I'm going to begin with, I'm going to go with the lightest one. And I'm just going to pop that on. Oh, fuck. Yes. Sorry, guys. Did not mean to swear, but wow. God, shit. I'm blown away. Look at that. I was going to use a wet finger, but I don't really think I need to. But I will anyway. Just for shits and giggles, like I will. Oh my gosh, guys, look how gorgina this is. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely sensational. Like, really beautiful. Wow, guys, okay. Okay, so next I really wanna try some of the beautiful kind of yellow gold glitter. So I'm just gonna use some of my very favorite glitter adhesive, which is by Sparkle Fantasy Cosmetics. It comes in this little bottle. It's called Glitter Fix Liquid, believe it or not. And do you know what? A couple of videos back, I had glitter on and a few people were asking me what I used, you know, as an adhesive. And I was like, oh, Glitter Fix Liquid by Sparkle Fantasy Cosmetics. But I realized after I'd replied to like the fifth person, the autocorrect was autocorrecting the word fix to fox, Glitter Fox Liquid. So now, I bet people are thinking, oh my gosh, what is this Glitter Fox Liquid? Like, who is she? I'm going to get a bit of this glitter. Can you see on my brush? I just applied some of the Glitter Fox Liquid, as we will now name her, on my lid. So we're just going to go in with the glitter. Okay, so there we go. Do you know what? I actually think I prefer just having the shimmer on there. I feel like the glitter has maybe like you know, kind of taking something away from the look, but I'm going to put more on anyway, because that's just the kind of person that I am. Oh, shit, it's gone up there. I'm going to go go over this because, yeah, I really like the shimmer. I feel like the shimmer looked beautiful. So I'm going over the glitter. Do you know, I've never gone over glitter before with like an eyeshadow. Could this be, oh my gosh, that looks great. That looks great. Maybe that's like... Uh, something I should always do, like do a layer of glitter and then the shimmer. Like I've never thought of doing that before, but I feel like that's kind of, you know, worked. I think I'm going to put a little bit of that beautiful brown shade in the outer vagina uh, because I do really, really like it. 
So I'm going to just pop a little bit in there. Okay, so here we go. I'm a little bit annoyed with myself that I've kind of messed up and the glitter's kind of risen a little bit too high. But I really, really do like the look. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do the other eye and then I will be back. Also, I do apologise for not really smiling that much in this video, but it's a bit difficult, you know, with the swollen lips. So I don't want to be like coming across speechy or anything. And I know I've got this strange lisp. A strange lisp, but I me mean, could even not be connected to the lips. That could just be like my new way of life. I mean, okay, that's fine. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do the other eye, and then I'll be back, and we will do the rest of the video. Do you know what? I just I forgot to finish my comment about not smiling a lot. But I feel like I'm not me. You know what? I'm not smiling. I feel like I'm like a bit bitchy. Like I feel like I'm a bit bitchy, and I'm not being bitchy. What? It's really strange not to smile. Like, it's, anyway, guys, right. Mm. Do you know what? My lips are quite dry, so I'm just popping a little bit of this on just to lubricant that off a little bit. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so I have finished the eye look. This is it. I really, really like it. I think it looks gorgeous. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not bigging myself up or anything, but I just really like these kind of warm, golden a brown mustardy kind of shades i just i love it okay so i really really love it i would definitely recommend this palette and i would also be interested in hearing if you've tried that color pot one that this is meant to be really similar to or even you know the urban decay they they did like a honey palette which i think is quite similar as well or has like similar kind of shades in it if you tried those could you let me know like what do you think of this okay so next we're going to move on to the highlighter so as i said this one's by beauty glazed it's quite simply called highlighting powder and this is in the shade beaming it is a richly blindingly golden beautiful highlighter i have tried uh, a couple of other shades in this line one called peach which was perfect if you've got like really really fair skin it was super light like the lightest highlighter i've ever tried uh, so that one was beautiful and i've also tried one in the shade cashmere which was actually really golden and a little bit I'd say too dark for me, but it wasn't as warm toned as this one. I will throw up swatches now on the screen so that you can see all three and see how they compare. Uh, they do have, I'd say about four of the shades as well that I've not tried. So I'm sure that there would be one that would be perfect for you. If you did want to go ahead and try one of these, but as I said, today we're going to be trying out uh, beaming. So I'm just going to pop my brush all up in there. Oh, I should have used the light hand, but I didn't. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to actually spread this onto the other cheek. Oh, oh, why did I not use the light hand? Oh my gosh. So yeah, guys, she definitely, she definitely a little bit too deep for my fair skin, I feel. Um, so I'm kind of using her today as a blush as well as a highlight. She's kind of like a glowy brush because brush well shit i can't speak now she's like a glowy blush so i think now that i've kind of blended her in i think she looks good she actually looks quite subtle do you know what i mean but she's definitely too deep for my skin so i don't want to be really putting more on uh, but this is what she looks like i've just come up with an idea maybe if i put a bit of the peach one over the top that will give me like the pop of glow and this has added a nice kind of bronzed kind of look but yeah it's not glowy enough so wait there we're going to get the glow factor up okay so this one is in the shade peach this is so light like it's the lightest highlighter i've ever seen ever um but i just thought this might complement the beaming one a little bit Okay, so guys, there we go. I'm going to pop a little bit on my nose. See what I mean? Like, she's so subtle. Uh, do you know what? I don't want subtle. I do not want subtle. Like, I love this, but I don't want subtle. I want, 
I want more, guys. I want more. So let me see, like, what can I use? Okay, so, guys, today I'm going to be using a Focal Your Glow Highlighter. This is in the shade 03 Nova Light. And this is what she looks like. She's a beautiful icy peach. Guys, do you see that? Do you see? She's so beautiful. Okay, so next, before we go in with the falsies, I'm going to be trying out one of the DNM eyeliners. So I've got two shades here. We have a neon orange, which looks like that. And we also have a neon yellow, which looks like, oh, like this actually i'm gonna do her like this she's not very pigmented honestly guys like can you see her like barely i don't even think i'm gonna see this on my eye should i try i've got a feeling like if i try this yellow one no fact that are you you're not gonna be able to see her guys at all should we try the orange i'll try oh shit dropping everything okay so we're gonna try the orange one Mm. Mm. Do you know what? I'm not. I could do some freckles, like maybe. Can you see? Oh my gosh, very subtle. I feel like I've got to do the other side now because, you know, I popped her there. Right, anyway, guys, yeah, no, I've. Do you know what? I'm now realizing that that's not going to work. Um, okay, so I know that I've not actually tried these DNM eyeliners, but. Unfortunately, I feel because they are so neon and so light, I just don't think, like, I, I think the orange one would have shown up more than the yellow one. Like, the yellow one was a complete non-starter. There's no way, like, I would get any payoff on my lid. Even just to do this swatch on my hand, I had to, like, go back and forth with it. So I don't really want to be putting the gentle skin on my eyelid under that harshness. I just don't want to be doing it. So, yeah, I think fail. I think fail. So, okay, so what can I do instead? Okay, do you know what? I kind of like the eyes as they are. Or would they be nice with a brown? Maybe like a brown eyeliner, which I do have a brown eyeliner. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a brown eyeliner because I think a black would just be a little bit too stark and harsh against the beautiful golden shades. But I think a brown would really, really make this whole look pop. So I'm going to be using the Precise Define Liquid Eyeliner. This is by You Can Be and it is it's really, really good. So I'm going to just pop this upon my eye. So I have done the eyeliner, I know it does not look the best, like it just does not, I get it. These two, they're not even like distantly related, I don't feel, they're not even neighbours, they, yeah, they don't, do not know each other at all, but I'm going to try, I'm going to try and bring this back, guys, I've just made it worse, holy shit. Oh, the struggle is real today, guys, the struggle is real ah oh, i don't know what that is but uh okay let's just pretend it's not that bad can we just pretend i know it's shit but don't worry i can try and sort it out later okay so i'll try and do something i don't know what that something is yet but I'm just going to move on, like for now, and not worry about it. Story of my life. Okay, so next we're going to be trying out the eyelashes. These are called mink eyelash, but I can tell you, like, for 100%, these are not real mink. If they were real mink, they would cost a lot more than 
what I paid for them. So I would never wear like real mink eyelashes. It's just not for me. I think it's unethical and it's just it's something that I would never support. So I just want to make sure that you're aware of that. So there were loads of different uh, styles of these lashes. I have these in the style W14. They look to be extremely gorgeous and wispy fluttery just like beautiful like totally over the top of course but um when does that ever stop me okay so this is the lashes close up and i am going to begin by cutting the lashes down because i know that they're going to be like way too big for me like believe me i still am filled with terror every single time like i are approaching trying on false lashes because they're just like in so intimidating um and scary but i feel oh shit wow this is gonna be a dramatic lash do you know what i don't think i need to do any corrective work with the wing eyeliner because let's face it once you've got these lashes on you're not going to be looking at my fix up wing are you really so okay so but they are too big so i'm going to begin by cutting them down a little bit then i'm going to be using the duo brush on adhesive uh, eyelash glue to apply them so i'm going to put you in silence silence what am i no so i'm going to put you in fast forward and you can watch me struggle like literally it's i'm going to be struggling Okay, so guys, this is the finished look. I just feel like these eyelashes take over. Like, they're like Barbara Streisand on the stage. She just makes everything else pale into comparison. Like, even the eye look, like, you can barely see it because of these lashes. But, I mean, if there's one benefit to wearing these lashes, it's that I don't think my lips look as big or as noticeable. Do you know what I mean? So I'm kind of liking that. But guys, I really actually like the look. I feel like my actual, you know, face makeup is very light today. Um, the eye makeup, I love it. But yeah, as I said, these lashes, wow, they've taken over everything. And although I do like these lashes, I think they're a little bit too wild for me. Although I kind of like it. I like the OTT look. And if you're a fan of like super big, gregarious lashes, I think you would love these. They went on beautifully. They feel like good quality as well and they, they were just easy to put on considering they're so mammoth you know what I mean um I think the star of the show for me though was the lemon eyeshadow palette by Beauty Glazed I am so impressed by this I absolutely adore the color family I think it's so beautiful it's very summery but also very autumny I think that you know you could wear this palette to the office you could wear it to a party it's very versatile and i just found that the the eyeshadows were a pleasure to work with they were brilliant sorry guys i'm being nosy i'm looking at the lady opposite she's in her window she i don't know she's like looking at me thinking what is that girl doing over there she probably not although she probably like spied my lashes and she's thinking oh my gosh is there a wild bird loose in that room because she might only be able to see my lashes could you imagine okay so i am gonna go i really hope that you enjoyed the video and i'm so sorry that i've not smiled i feel like i must have come across as a total bitch in this video and i'm not saying that if you don't smile that means you're a bitch because it doesn't but just because i'm so used to smiling like i feel like i'm not my usual self but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.